Special guest referee is officially back. I got to play WWE 2K24 early at the 2K community event. So I was fortunate enough to gather a lot of gameplay and a lot of insight into a lot of the different features for this year's game. This video is all about special guest referee. So setting up the match at the selection screen, you can do a couple of different things here. You can pick the original attire for the wrestler if you want, or you can pick the referee attire. One detail I wish they would add for this is going to be that for the loading screen, you would see them in their referee shirt, but as kind of a compromise, I guess, what you do end up seeing is it's a special guest referee match. You can see who is selected as the ref, and they actually put the little referee logo, the WWE logo on screen with a little stripe for the referee shirt behind them. So I think that works too. During the actual entrances, all the entrances are normal and the referee does get announced as the special guest referee coming to the ring. But let's talk about options before we even get into the full match itself. When setting up a special ref match, you can decide in the options menu if you wanna be a clean or a dirty ref. So you can toggle this feature on and off at the beginning in the options menu. If you turn it on, everything plays as a normal referee match where you do have full control, and we'll get into everything you can do being a good ref and a bad ref. If you toggle it off, you have complete freedom and there's going to be no ejections at the end. So anything you do in the match, if you toggle it off, you can go wild. Nothing bad's going to happen to you. So it's pure freedom for how you want to play. A cool thing that I found out though, is that for the special guest referee, when you are going to pick your ref, you can select any wrestler you want to be the referee. You can also select in-game referees. So if you want to play as a WWE referee, you have that option too. A great detail that I'm really glad that they added in was going to be able to have managers ringside. Having a one-on-one -on -one special ref match, I can have the full bloodline at ringside for this thing, and I can have one to three managers with me. Also, one thing I was curious about with any match, they brought this back in. It will once again auto-populate your faction, your managers, who your allies and team is by default. So no longer are you going to have to go in and select and scroll through and find Paul Heyman and the Usos. It will actually just default now to select Paul Heyman and anybody else that's associated with your team. Great little fix and I'm glad they fixed this and brought this back. Within referee matches, you can make it a title match too, or a double title match, or you can make it for the money in the bank. Custom match rules are also available in this. So this makes it feel really great and a lot deeper for special guest referee matches. I was able to do a match where it was gonna be two out of three falls. I can also do it where it's gonna be an Iron Man match for special guest referee. First blood, submissions only, pins only. You have more customization in there. You can also go into creation suite and you can create the custom ref attire too. So if you want different gear, you will end up just saving it as a special guest referee attire and you could set up multiple slots for that under like Triple H as an example. The negative for special guest referee and my one big critique for this is the limitation. It is limited to 1v1 matches. You're not gonna be able to do a special guest ref match for tag team, triple threat, fatal four way. That is probably the one kicker here with this thing being implemented. And it is only available for the straight up one-on-one -on -one matches. So even a one-on-one -on -one match, you cannot do it as a hell in a cell, a backstage brawl, a steel cage match. That is going to be one of the big negatives here is that it's limited within that. What I would suspect though with how this plays out and we'll talk about that more in just a second but how the match type plays how fluid it is it gives me a ton of hope that for 2k25 i think that they would definitely be looking at okay how can we take it from the core version that we got here in 24 how can we expand it in 25 and that's where i think they would add in other match types within special guest referee and as it's been revealed by the devs too special ref is also available in my gm and universe mode. One of the cool things with a special guest referee match though is going to be factions. One thing I didn't have a chance to try out with the referee match, but I did confirm with the developers. If you're gonna do a special ref match and you're gonna have members of the judgment day going up against somebody, your referee is going to favor those that are your allies and your faction members. So if the special guest referee isn't you, it's the computer, but Dominic is the special guest referee and you're playing as Finn Balor against Cody, Dom is going to favor you more in the match. It's a lot like what they did with last year with Royal Rumble and having tag teams enter the Rumble where they won't fight each other right away. They've added that feature into special guest referee. So again, 
that adds to the depth of it, in my opinion. And that's a big, big positive where it's not going to not make sense. Because if he didn't have this, it would kind of take away from it where you think, well, why is Dominic fast counting Finn Balor, for example? It will be smart enough where it will favor the teammates. For gameplay itself with the match, you have full control as the ref. You can check the pins rope breaks you can bring weapons into the match if you want you can eject managers ringside at any point so if i wanted to eject paul Heyman right away i can if people are starting to interfere and get on the apron i can knock them out as a referee you do have the meter in the top left corner and that's gauging your match as a referee so when you have the default settings of special guest referee there is that meter that will climb up so the more shenanigans you pull in a match, the meter goes up. And if you get more physical and you start doing signatures and finishers, you're running the risk of getting ejected in the match. But you will see little texts and prompts pop up in the corner during the special ref match so that it will tell you that if, hey, a turnbuckle has been exposed or a weapon has been brought in the ring, if there's things that are kind of going wrong and out of place with the match, it's telling you that you need to kind of like clean things up and fix it in order to keep things level if that's how you want to play it you can count the pinfalls how you like if you want to go super fast you can if you can go super slow you can you can do the rocks one two Doesn't matter if the rock the just like that neat little details too i found was that if a opponent is going to climb the top rope it does pop up as a prompt for you to press x or square on playstation controller so that you can warn them of climbing the top rope for too long count outs on the outside you can count to 10 or 20 you can totally do that as normal as the referee even if they're on the apron you can give them warnings too the cool way that they have designed special guest referee for me is going to be the toggle between referee and wrestler mode by selecting the options on your controller you're going to be able to toggle instantly for that mode if you want to be just as the referee you don't have to touch anything but at any point you can tap it on your controller and you will switch over to wrestler mode and that will give you the freedom to pull off any move and act as you normally do in any type of match while your gauge and your meter for referee keeps going up it makes it seamless and it doesn't have the problem of like the system tripping on itself where you're trying to flip between both the only problem i had and it's my fault is just the panic of oh i gotta switch back over to being a referee they're trying to go for a cover and i gotta count the three count and i'm still in wrestler mode and i gotta toggle back so i do like that they have this separation almost between the two it makes it very clear who you are, what you're trying to do, what actions you're pulling off in the match. Now getting ejected, if you play as a normal special guest referee match and you interfere too much or you attack your opponents, you will get ejected. A new ref comes down, you get a full cut scene, but the neat thing on top of that is you get ejected as a referee, but then I slide out ringside. So I was playing as the rock and I got tossed out, but I'm still in control of the rock and I'm just standing ringside. So I was able to slide back in and still do more damage to the opponents if I wanted to. And then I got fully ejected from the match. So then you are gone. But the good thing is, is that even if you are ejected from a match or at any point, just like anything, you can change the controller settings. So if you want to play as either opponent, you totally can. So even if you're gone as the ref, just go to the controller options and switch it and become one of the other wrestlers in the match. This also means that you can go in at any point and you could actually just make it for spectating mode and you could change all the camera angles and you can do that too. So you have a ton more freedom. And I think for people that want to be able to just watch a special guest referee match, play it a little bit, then switch it up and be the AI so you could just control the cameras, there's way more freedom in there now. So is special guest referee the match, the thing that everybody was hoping it would be? Yes and no. The positives drastically outweigh any of the negatives in my opinion. The negatives being that it's not available in other match types. Not getting a backstage brawl referee match, a tag team, multi-man match as the referee, yes those are negatives and i hope that they can somehow get that updated for next year's game but for what we got for what this is i think they totally nailed the experience and the level of fun players will have as special guest referee not to mention playing online with friends as special guest referee couch co-op with the experience it's a lot of pluses in here that I think fans are really going to enjoy. And for more WWE 2K24 coverage, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and click one of these videos right here for more coverage because we got a ton of news and updates for you. Have a great day. See ya.